All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another one. Um, can you, you see all this? Yeah, we're back in New York City. So we're gonna have a fun one. Um, they have this, this really cool location. Um, it's like Fosum Plaza, sorry if I mispronounced that, um, in like Manhattan area. I probably got that wrong too. But anyways, we're downtown New York. Um, it's cool. They, they got a bunch of cars parked. They got them up in this little plaza space, everything else. Um, and it's just a, it's just a really cool car show. So I'm going to run through, I'm going to show you guys what's here. Uh, we're going to have another fun one. So you guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to start right here because I got a Porsche and an NSX and I mean, what better way to play it? You know, what, what, what better way to start this? So I'm going to flip you guys around. I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to show you everything they got up here and, uh, let's get at it and have some fun. All right, so I'm gonna flip you guys around. I'm gonna start off and come down through it. Check it out. NSX, nice, beautiful OEM, just nice, clean NSX. Let me clean up some of that glare for you right there. Um, so these are kind of the, the extra cars that didn't make it up into the plaza space. Got a little, got a little uh, Mercedes Black Edition. Nice, uh, nice older 911 with the, with the whale tail on the back. I love that big, huge wing. That's one of those things they just have to, they just have to keep and retain. I, I love the way that looks. So we got ourselves a little bug. I'm walking in the middle of the street. Somebody's going to yell at me. I don't blame them. They should. So, well, since we're waiting, I'm going to cross. There we go. I'll see what else we got down that way. But, so check this out. So they've got, they've got some sort of like ramp system where they bring them up and they get them up in that area. I'll, I'll see if I can find that location. So you got like a, like a Safari G-Wagon? I don't know, that's, oh, here, there you go. Let me get you guys so I can show you. So you got like the Safari style G-Wagon. I. I haven't seen that that edition. That, that looks pretty cool. You got a, a little Land Rover Defender. I like I like that they parked them. I like that they parked them on the stairs. That, that's cool. So like the you know the the I call them Jeep type vehicles, but you know like the little off road style. Um, you know that's that's the way they should be displayed. And then. You know, just because you can, like, what is this? This, this one got me. Let's, uh, let's go up and take a look. He definitely has the off-road tires on it. Huh, that's pretty cool. It's, it's super factory fresh. So here, did you guys know what this was? I had no idea. Absolutely none. If one of you guys if one of you guys guessed what this is, you you definitely win the award because I I had no idea. So anyways, so they've got they got this cool circle. They've got, you know, like a curated group of cars. As you can see around the circle, they've got nothing but Porsches parked. So you guys want to wanting to hear about Porsches, wanting to see me talk about Porsches. I, I guess I'm going to talk about Porsches today. Uh, let's see what's over here first. It's got a little, uh, what, like an old Toyota Land Cruiser, I think. That's pretty cool. Man, it's super, super fresh. That, that looks better than when it rolled off the showroom floor. That is so clean. Got a little upgrade on the headlights and everything, but like paint wise and everything, it's great. And then you got, so you got the hooks and everything so you can lay the window down like a Jeep. That's, that's really cool, excuse me. Um, got a nice little, nice little Mustang. Looks like we got a couple vets over here. Um, I mean, never too early to start. Never too early to start. Um, <laughs> 
So you got a couple vets down this way. It's pretty cool. Little Stingray 427. It's got the, the, the little removable top. That's pretty, I like that. Oh man, so we got more cars than I thought we did. Look, so we got the, got the Maserati over here. It's cool, is it? Man, it's cool to see them all tucked up in here like this. Is that, is that supposed to be me? I, I don't know. Looks like a 70 to 200. Um, got the Alpha. Got the little Lotus. Oh, look, you got a little, got a little ST over here too. What a bunch of kids running around it. I don't know. It, I mean, I guess it's good they get to play. Get to see some cars, get to, you know, get that intro into cars and everything else. Um, nice. Little wide body setup, little Hot Wheels setup on it. Got the, got the side exit on the exhaust. Um, little Fiesta ST. I mean, he's full. He's full race prepped on it. That's that's pretty cool. He's got it caged out. Got the chassis. Got the chassis wing and everything else. And then I didn't realize they they were gonna park cars all the way around. So it looks like we got a run of R8s down through this. I'm gonna have to come back through and just shoot some photos too, because this is a great spot for photos. So you got the little spider. All kind of OEM examples, which you can't really blame them, because I mean, around the city and you know, the New York area and everything else, it's hard to have like a super low modified car, especially if you're gonna come in and out of the city. Mm, now we found, now we found my flavor. Now we found my flavor. Look, little beat up 34. I mean, just used and abused. I, I, as, as much as I'd love to see just an absolute pristine 34, the fact that they have a 34 that, look, says drove to California. So they lost the side skirt on the, on the ride to California. They, uh, they probably lost most of this lip somewhere down through there too. Look at all the, look, they ain't even clean it or anything. I, you know what? I, I love it. I love it. Rocking the Nismos. I mean, the, the fact that they actually just left it dirty and they didn't even clean it. You know, typically anytime you see a 34, it's, it's super like pristine and clean. Look. He got a tore up front bumper, the poor, the poor 34, um, but it's, it's cool. I, I like it. Guess it was, guess it was worked on by a Mori factory. Um, kids are all excited. So now here's, here's a big deal. This is a 33 LM. Um, this is one you don't get to see a lot of. Um, now this one on the other hand, is pristine. This one, look, you come down through the paint, the TEs, everything about it. This one, this one's definitely the pristine one. It looks like it has a couple little rock chips down through the front, but otherwise, this is this is a gorgeous car. Super high dollar LMs. You just they just didn't make that many of them, so the the rarity of the car is is super cool. Um, let's see what else we got around here. Man, those are, those are great. The old RT10 Viper. This is, this is that first gen when, when it had no nannies, had no nothing else. And all it tried to do was kill you. Uh, that's what made it so fun. I mean, that's, I, th I think that that's one of the biggest appeals of like the first gen Vipers was that they, they literally just tried to kill you. Um, Let's see what else we got around here. A little GTI. Got the over fenders on it. Nice and clean, a little caged out. 
Got some music playing in the background, but we should be good. And there's a whole bunch more cars than I thought there was going to be. I thought I was going to come up and see like a half dozen little cars. I didn't forget about all the Porsches. I, I'll make it back to the Porsches for you guys. We'll do a, we'll do a sprint around them. Um, little SL Mercedes. Man, it's really clean. Look. It's actually really, really nice. Little, little wagon. Little AC Schnitzer set up on the wagon. Ah, you got, you got a little grouping, little grouping of the the BMWs over here. You got the, you got the M3 and that uh, that Laguna blue color. That's, that's nice. Let's see what else we got over here. That forest green. I I don't know that I've ever seen the forest green like that. That that looks super good. Man, that's nice. And he's got the upgraded like uh, upgraded Recaros in it. Got the E30. E30 is cool. We got live band. Live band's doing good. Got a couple of E30s. E30s are nice and clean. Let me see if I can whip you guys around a little bit. Get you guys a little. Uh, Get you guys a little view here on the BBSs. Fits super clean on the BBSs. Let's see. I'm a, I'm curious as to whether or not the music is actually like <laughs> if it's gonna trigger. Check out the ITBs on this. Check that out. Look how clean. Man, that looks so good. All right, let's see what else we got around here. Got a little Pomsky. See how cute that little Pomsky is. Huh? Nice. Ah, the old school Jags. There's something about the old school Jags I love. I think I think it's just the fact that they can take that big old hood, that big old bonnet, and just lay it forward on on the little uh on the little bumper extensions right there. Another little BMW. Got some exotics over here. New Ferrari, old Ferrari. The guys, the guys playing their music. 765 LT. 765 LT isn't something you always see. Um, let's see, we, it's clean. Definitely a clean setup. Oh, uh, now that that song I recognize. We're gonna get flagged on that song. Let's uh, let's see if I can run you guys through a little bit show you show you the Porsches so you got a little 912 Porsche factory inside let's see what else we got another oh, black edition over there and then down through the turbo this is this is definitely one of my favorite style Porsches um, let's try and make our way through uh, I'll whip you guys back around. Here you go. But that's one of my that's one of my favorite style Porsches. I really like I really like that one. Um, the old like 911s, like this, like I was saying with the old with the big old whale tail on them and everything. Those are those are really cool. Let me uh, let me pick you guys up microphone wise. Um, little Pina Ferrera, Ferrari. You got the Dino next to it. The Dino is super clean. I I don't know. Just the the clean lines of that are just really nice. We're uh, I mean we're in the city. I I know I know we're uh, we're not going to get any clean shots or anything. But you know we were having that discussion on how everybody just walks in front of everybody and nobody cares. Um, that's that's how this goes. This is interesting. Is this? Is this a Testarossa? Because it doesn't. The headlights. The headlights got me on this one. Yeah. So. You guys will have to tell me. This is a a five twelve. Because it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know enough about old Ferraris. That's for sure. I just know the. I just know the Pina Ferrer name and the designs that came from him were always. We're always a little, little crazy in a good way. Um, 
So let's see what else we got down through. We've got a couple more Ferraris. Got the Lambo here, I'll show you guys that. Get away from that live band. Live band sounded good, but definitely, definitely doesn't help. So. Big old Murcielago. Looks good. All right, so we are going to take a walk around the Porsches. And you guys are going to let me know every one I miss or I get I get wrong as we go through. I'm I'm definitely not going to definitely not going to be mean and just call them all 911s, although it would be kind of funny. Um so you got GT4 RS coming up. I don't know. I'm, I, as much as I love the new, the old style, there's something about that old style Porsche. And just, I mean, you can tell that the car definitely came, you know, and, and kept its heritage. But uh, there's something about the old Porsche that, that I definitely like better. It's kind of it's kind of cool to see so many lined up. This is this right here is is an example of like one of the first cars I ever drove in a manual. So I had to I had to learn how to I had to learn how to drive a manual from like a friend of mine that had like a little escort just so I could just so I could I could drive that at the shop. <laughs> little speedster. That's interesting. So they have the Speedster right next to the GT3. What a what a difference. What a comparison in between the two. So everybody hanging out, having their little drink. But it's a nice little GT3 for you guys. GT3 RS with the with the Advan GTs. Ah oh, man. Just a set of, you know how much those center locks are for those Advan GTs for this thing? That's crazy. So, and then let's see what we got next to it. Another RS next to it. So. Got a GT2 coming up. I like this one. I like this one. I there's something so they're fun to drive. The RSs are definitely fun to drive. Um, but there's something about I think just the simpler model that's not like fully, fully crazy. I don't know. Oh, uh, this one. This one has got so much meat on the back of it. It's rocking a three fifteen thirty five on the back. Nice and clean inside, like he's got the helmets and everything else. I love the interior. Stitched up. He's got the, the classic example of the Recaros in it. Man. Another little RS. Look. Got like the pole position style leather, but they painted the back red to match here. Look, so they painted the back to match. They have the cage to match. So it's got the little red highlights and everything else. Mm, I like that. I like that one. Oh, little kid running through. He getting video faster than me. Okay, everybody's out here doing photos, taking. It's it's actually a really good media location, cause cause of how beautiful it is out here. Um, little GT3, that the GT3 is a driver's car all day. This is, it has enough power 
that you have a lot of fun in it. It's not too much that it tries to kill you. Um, but it's, I don't know. I, I definitely enjoy the GT3. I get in trouble because I say the GT3 is like a fast S2000. Um, <laughs> and, and nobody really wants to hear that. <laughs> but that's kind of how I see it. Like it's a really good driver's car. It has just the, just the right amount of power, um, you know, that you don't get in trouble with it. So, all right, that, uh, that loops us around the Porsches. I, I, hope, I hope I got you guys enough Porsche content because I know, I know I've been hearing it. I know I've, I've been getting asked to, you know, please stop, please show more Porsches, spend more time on Porsches. So I tried to, I tried to get you guys that. Let me come up this way while they're, uh, while they're not doing the band music and I'll, I'll see if I can get you a little bit, a little off-road, patinaed Porsche. It's interesting. So we got an NSX, little first gen with what, second gen wheels on that one. Um, let's see what else we got down here. Got the black edition, got like a 944, I think, in the yellow. I think that's which on this is, but we definitely have, we definitely have a lot of good Porsches. Um, yeah, let me take you guys back over to the 765 and a couple of these cars, just in case, just in case we got cut off by the music. So nice little kind of looking stock 765. That's a, that's another fun driver's car. What's it, a 360, 360 Modena? We've got, uh, we've got the couple M3s over here that are, that are super nice. Yeah, see if I can, see if I can get you guys a couple shots. It's hard, everybody, everybody hanging out, talking cars. The orange one's beautiful. So he's got, uh, He's got air on it, so it lifts. That's cool. He's got the air jacks on it. I'm gonna run you guys down the last couple this way, just in case we missed them on uh, missed them on the music. There's that green one. I really love this green. It's like a really deep forest green with with the tan interior. I that's really nice. I, I don't know what it is. Like I, you guys will have to tell me if this is a, like a factory green. I don't know that I've ever seen it in green. The wagon, of course, is is one of my favorites. I the, and it's a manual. Ah. Hey. But I can't do it. I can't do it. I I, I want like a stagey or something like that if I'm gonna do a wagon. I don't know though that. That that and like the Mercedes wagons, they they look so good. Run you guys down through here, like I said, just in case we got caught on that music, I can still get you guys to view the M3. This is this is the color everybody wants. Oh, it's so nice inside, really really clean. And then we got the Jag. And the bigger, like, what, five, six series? Older, like, two-door. I think that's which one this is. Let's take a look on the back. If not, you guys already got me in the comments on that one, but. Three liter, I wanna say, I wanna say it's like a six series, but I don't, I just don't remember. I know the CS is the special edition. super clean so all right we uh you guys let me know what you think um i so <laughs> if you guys don't know um like you know i'm here on the east coast you guys know that if you've been watching my videos um but i'm down in northern virginia so like this this was a four hour four and a half hour drive to come up here completely worth it completely worth it i these cars that are up here are great i'm gonna run around i'm gonna do a bunch of photos and everything else um 
but yeah, this was this was definitely worth the drive up here, um, just for this, because there there is definitely some gorgeous cars up here. So, you guys, let me know what you think. Drop those comments. Uh, let me know if you like these types of meets. Let me know if I spend enough time on the Porsches. If not, I'll go back and I'll spend some more time. Um, but you guys, check out my other videos if you like what I do. Um, hit that subscribe. Hit that notification. We're gonna keep running around. We're gonna keep doing stuff up on the up on the East Coast. Um, not done on the West Coast. I'll go back and visit you guys too. But uh, we're we're definitely gonna keep running up and down the East Coast doing this. Uh, we have hey, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Good, good. I'll catch up with you in just a minute. Um, see that, that's the reason I came up today. He was like, oh man, you should check this out. So, um, run up and down the East coast. We got SEMA coming up. We've got Tokyo auto salon coming up after that. So man, it's going to be a crazy, it's going to be a crazy, you know, run up to the end of the year. We're going to start off the year strong at Tokyo auto salon, and then we're just going to keep having fun. So you guys, let me know what you think. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to get out of here for now. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.